Hey everybody, Scott Tetwell here, and we have another huge announcement from Stable Diffusion today for the Dream Studio Beta Online. Again, this is a web-based application, not a Discord-based one. Um, and this is for AI art generation, obviously, but they have two huge things that you can do with their new editor. Now, they're calling it an editor, uh, but it really doesn't edit anything, at least not yet. I assume that there's some functionality coming down the road, but they haven't announced anything yet. So what you can do with this is two very cool things. One is to start with like a sketch. The other one, which I think is more intriguing to me personally, is to upload an existing image and have it use that as a point of departure. And then again, use your keywords to modify either slightly or significantly that image. So let's take a look at how to do that real quick. So I'm over here in the Dream Studio beta. This is uh, again, beta.dreamstudio.ai. And uh, it is a paid service, but uh, again, uh, pretty inexpensive and they are working on the pricing actually too. So uh, we'll see how that comes in the long run. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna put in a prompt that I like. Now, if you watch my live stream a couple days ago, you saw we got a lot of really great images out of this specific prompt and I talked about my building of it. Uh, so if you missed that, go check it out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna modify the height and the width. Um, I tend to like a bit higher image uh, now, yes, we may get some repeating heads and it's not because you didn't put one head in your prompt. It's because it's actually trained on a 512 by 512 model. So it's actually trying to draw two 512 pictures on top of each other. Uh, now that may be disappointing, but I will tell you that most of the time when I get two heads, they're actually pretty decent. So I tend to save those faces for the ones where I have a, a really great body and a great scene, uh, but the face is gone. So uh, don't automatically throw those away. Sometimes they're pretty, pretty awesome. Okay, so uh, we're going to generate three images here. I just kind of start out and we're just gonna leave the defaults here. And you see down at the bottom, there's a new initial image. We're gonna leave this blank right now and go ahead and run dream. Okay, there we go. We got some fun images back, just a quick three here. And what we do is I wanna go ahead and save those. Now we do have options up here for saving all of them individually or zipping them all up. Um, I'm gonna save them all individually because I don't wanna deal with the zip files. So there we go. Okay, now let's go over to our image editor. And now here, really the only functionality you have is uploading at, at this time. There is no other functionality. And then at the top, we have our image strength, which is how much we're going to influence our keyword prompt with this image. So let's upload an image. And I'm just gonna grab this one from the ones we just uploaded. And I'm going to run it with, let's say 30% strength and click dream. Now what it's gonna do is generate three more images based on this image and 30% image strength. And there we go. Now we have some variety. So if I'm getting something that's close and I want to get a little bit, say different hairstyle or some options, this gives me a lot of opportunity in Photoshop later on to go back in and then edit together the pieces that I really like. Now, the other option is to use a photo that was not generated. For example, I'm going to bring this image in that I also generated in Stable Diffusion 1.4, uh, but I really like it, but I think maybe we should try some alternatives with it. So again, uh, let's use a little bit stronger strength. Let's say a 50%. And let's dream with this one. By the way, you can edit the, you can exit the editor and it'll maintain your image down here. So you can click dream and it will still work. And there we go. We have slight variations based on our keywords here and that image. We can go back and we can lower this a lot so that it influences a lot less. Depends on the amount of nuance you want to have with your changes. And there we go. Three pretty significant changes. Now, if I had an image where I had drawn, say, uh, kind of a spaceship or something along that lines with a person, and I upload it, there's no guarantee that those straight lines are gonna turn into walls unless I'm kind of describing the scene, but it's still pretty fun to play with. So if you just wanted to paint something literally in Microsoft Paint and throw it up there, it will try and use your prompts to fill the rest of that out, which is pretty cool. But I'm really using it here to kind of generate uh, slight variations on images that I already like, but I would like some different aspects of it. But this is a huge upgrade, huge upgrade and opens up the door to fixing a lot of things, especially like for myself as a photographer and I want to kind of use them as a point of departure, um, I can get some ideas for alterations of my imagery from this system and then return back to Photoshop to finish it up. It'd be pretty cool. Anyway, that's what I got for today. There's all so much coming out and it's coming out so fast. I'm really excited for this stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. If you love this, hey, click the like button and subscribe and you'll get more stuff from me and this bald head every day. And my mandatory Packer shirt because I live in Wisconsin. State law, you get it. All right, take care, bye.